Where is that dang Tesla cyber truck? Where is it? Or more importantly, when is it, I guess? You're in luck if you're already expecting the Tesla Gigafactory taxes to start producing. Yeah, as soon as the paperwork's completed, Tesla Giga Texas is going to begin mass production. What would be the first Tesla produced in the Tesla Gigafactory? Do you got any guesses? It's the Model Y. What the new model plant implies for Tesla Model Y is outlined in the video. The electric Cybertruck is one of Tesla's primary models to begin production at this plant. The Cybertruck, which was unveiled in 2019, promises to have a range of approximately 950 kilometers on a single charge. The Cybertruck, according to Tesla, can speed from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 3 seconds and can pull up to 6,300 kilograms. In the United States, the Cybertruck will be competitive with electric pickup trucks like the Ford F-150 Lightning or the GMC Hummer EV or, or the Rivian R1T. But why is there no mention of manufacturing commencing in 2022? The video closely observes the plant construction with great drone and analysis. Will the production start next week? This video's got all the answers to it, my dudes. So yeah, the first quarter days of 2022 are producing and the initial batch was already sent for tests. The age of electric automobiles may be split into two parts, before and after the introduction of the 2008 Tesla Roadster. Tesla has developed itself as one of the most active, inventive, and lucrative companies in the world. In almost a decade and a half since its watershed event, and Elon Musk keeps growing forward. Despite a worldwide chip scarcity that slowed the auto industry throughout the year, Tesla delivered one million vehicles last year. Let me say it again, one million vehicles last year. Pretty cool. To be more precise, it was 936,172, and that's an 87% rise from 2020. Musk stated in a podcast episode towards the end of 2021 that Tesla will most likely achieve level 4 autonomy in 2022. This would have been a huge step since it's only one step away from sci-fi. And the level 5 autonomy doesn't involve human drivers at all. Level 3 permits drivers to take their eyes off the road for a small period of time, but they should still be prepared to participate. Tasmanian says level 3 cars can drive themselves, but only on specified routes. When vehicles reach level 4, they'll be able to take over all driving responsibilities. You'll be able to kick your feet up and eat your sushi in the car. Tesla intended to launch its first vehicles fueled by the latest 4680 batteries in 2022, according to Electric. It was soon after Panasonic presented the potential of EV batteries. However, despite its extensive history of participation in the creation of battery cells, it was the first time Tesla produced its own batteries. Tesla was soon growing and expanding its pilot production lines in Fremont, according to Electric. It prepared a massive shift into a large-scale 4680 battery storage at Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin. In 2022, the story of Tesla will be a lot about batteries, especially whether or not Tesla can build 4680s in massive quantities required to meet, you know, the burgeoning consumer demand. The webpage dedicated to everything about the cyberpunk electric pickup and the electric automaker continues growing more and more ambiguous regarding the EV's manufacturing date. In October, Tesla removed all price and model information from the Cybertruck website, but left out one critical detail, a 2022 production start date. You'll note that where it used to say you will be able to finish your configuration as manufacturing nears in 2022, it now merely says you will be capable of completing your figuration as manufacturing nears. The Texas Gigafactory, which is to be built in Travis County, will be entirely fueled by renewable energy. The existing building owns a footprint of more than 1.9 million square feet and also has 5.3 million square feet of operating area spread out across its numerous floors. With all these barriers going built, it is becoming increasingly difficult to see inside the facility. In early 2022, Tesla was anticipated to have a Giga Texas grand launch party with factory visits for the local community. Stepping into 2022, though, the first thing we've noted is that the accurate manufacturing for Giga Texas will begin next week. They already started driving finished automobiles within the facility, and some cars are undergoing crashes and other assessments at testing centers outside of the state. Tesla's next Gigafactory in the United States will be built in Texas. The factory will be used to manufacture the electric car makers' electric cars, which would include the impending Cybertruck. As per Daniel Ives, depending on data from the business, Texas is set to commence production of the Model Y in the upcoming weeks since paperwork is finally clearing a path. 
Additionally, production machine testing is nearly complete, and the manufacturers received approval. According to senior equity analyst Daniel Ives and uh, Wedbrush Managing Director, Tesla's facility in Austin, Giga, Texas, will commence mass production in the next 7 to 10 days. He stated that all the documentation had been finished based on the firm's study. As a result, the business had been given the go-ahead to begin manufacturing. On January 1st, rumors concerning the start of mass manufacturing in Giga, Texas surfaced. However, on the 4th, Travis County spokesman Hector Nieto stated that the local fire chief had previously issued certificates of compliance of, to some portions of the plant. These certifications, which are comparable to occupancy certificates, are required before a corporation may actually operate a building. Because the current Giga factory in Texas will be used to make the Model 3, Cybertruck, Model Y, and semi-trucks, certifications are likely to pertain to the workshops producing the Model Y, which, you know, is the one that Tesla plans to start producing first. As a result, these papers are likely to have smoothed the path for Tesla to start manufacturing. The start of manufacturing in Giga Texas is as critical as demand for the company's automobiles continuing to rise. Tesla delivered, as I said earlier, pop quiz, do you remember the number? 936,000 vehicles in 2021, with the Model Y accounting for almost half of that. As a result, the small SUV is in great demand, but supplies are in short supply, necessitating the establishment of additional manufacturing facilities. At 4.28 million square feet, the Tesla Gigafactory Austin will be massive. It would also be the world's most enormous skyscraper powered entirely by renewable energy. Although a monumental structure, it pales in comparison to Tesla's California factory, which spans a 5.3 million feet. The Texas Gigafactory will be divided into portions as well. The function that each one will play in the creation of Teslas will be separated into these components. General assembly, stamping, and casting are among the sections. The Tesla Cybertruck will accompany the Tesla Model Y into manufacturing once completed. And then after that, first, the Tesla Model Y will be devoid of a floor favoring a battery pack. Instead of being linked to the floor, car parts will be mounted to the battery pack. It can make the Model Y lighter, allowing it to go further on a single charge. With so many possibilities for the new Tesla Gigafactory in Texas, it'll be fascinating to watch how quickly Tesla can ramp up that production. It'll be so much more intriguing to see whether Tesla produces the Cybertruck just after Model Y. After all, it, that's basically what everyone wants to see. Because manufacturing at Giga Berlin has been delayed due to a lengthy regulatory procedure, Giga Texas is expected to begin operations even sooner than the European facility, which started to build a few months ago, actually. The German political system's imperfections have had a detrimental impact, but production at Giga Berlin might begin shortly since the approval procedure is nearing completion. The trail is 21 kilometers long. Tesla automobiles such as the Model Y and the Model 3 and, and the future Cybertruck will be housed there. However, Cybertruck's manufacturing plant has been delayed due to ongoing, you know, supply chain shortages, you, you know, all that stuff, the supply chain not doing the, yeah, you know. Elon Musk previously stated that the Texas Gigafactory might just create 20,000 jobs. Over time, Giga Texas will generate at least 20,000 direct and 100,000 indirect employment, Musk has once stated. Tesla has previously stated that the plant would employ 10,000 people. In addition, general assembly, stamping, paint, casting, and, and body shop facilities will be available at the plant, so it's got a lot of things it needs to be ran. In the video, we took a look back three months ago and saw just how Giga Texas looked, well, three months ago, to see how things have changed in a short period of time. The goal of this look back is for the spectator to be able to compare, to observe the incredible speed of advancement, and to understand the amount of effort that went into getting Giga Texas ready for production in 2022. So if this is accurate, it would be huge news for this facility and for the industry as a whole, mainly because Tesla Giga Berlin has yet to begin series production despite the project's introduction some months ago. With the opening of the European Gigafactory in mid-2022, we expect Tesla to scale up and grow its operations over three continents pretty swiftly. Only time could tell, though, how swiftly Tesla's gonna expand and impact Tesla car availability and costs. The critical concern is whether or not the latest 4680-type cylindrical cells would be employed, and if they are gonna be employed, how will they affect range and performance?